Hi guys, Mark at Bear Hobbies doing a book review. The book is from Ammo of Mig Jimenez. It's How to Paint Acrylics, the Ammo Modeling Guide. Obviously the book is going to be centered around the Ammo of Mig Jimenez products, um, which I sell. I stock this book as well. So if you're interested, just check out the website. But this is really on the back of the little IS2 build that we did as well. Um, because we use acrylic products in there. So let's have a look at this. This is really probably a book, again, aimed at people that are starting the hobby. Um, here's the quick content section. What is acrylic? Primer, acrylics with airbrush, acrylics with a brush, painting cockpits, uh, deck application, figures, chipping, washable paint, metal paints, clear, which is varnishes, and tracks. So there's uh, quite a mixture of content inside there. So I'm going to go quickly through that. Uh, it's going to explain a lot of the uh, science, well, not the science, but there's quite a few uh, mistakes that are made in uh, paint types. And there's some confusion amongst the various different manufacturers, such as Tamiya paints, etc. But they're talking about pure acrylic paints, which is what we discussed in the pa painting tutorial, which are purely water-based paints of a non-toxic nature and it goes through the uh, characteristics and how you thin them etc what you use uh, obviously water as well which is what we use on our build uh, it tells you about primers and then there's also the step-by-step -step illustration showing you uh, how how to work it yeah and also uh, like a really good example here is one of the characteristics of acrylics is it's very fast drying and this does cause um, the tip of the airbrush to uh, very quickly become dry so it needs to be cleaned constantly and then obviously there's some understandings of airbrushes and uh, compressors etc some of the problems that you might have with painting and even some techniques as well. And they point out uh, some modulation type techniques, sort of high, high contrast techniques. And we're, we're going to go into some of them. How to do camouflages, how to paint aircraft. Um, okay, using enamel products over acrylics as well. So some weathering. Even how to clean the airbrush itself. There's the brush painting as well, which is what we did. Different types of brushes. How to do a wet palette. I was going to come on to that. We might do that in a figure tutorial in the future. Uh, even your workspace illumination, which is something that I mentioned. Uh, diluting the paint, which is very important. It's a fundamental thing of um, painting figures. Even brush painting hard edge camo, which uh, is, is, a, is a very good and useful technique. How to do washes. Everything's very clearly illustrated. And there seems to be lots of different techniques inside here. So we've, we've been some basics of figures and now we're even looking at aircraft, how to paint the cockpit to provide all this... Um, uh, highlights, contrast lining, pin washes, even pigments are mentioned, even the decal applications uh, mentioned as well. And then another point on painting figures. And this is uh, really, uh, you know, very, very high quality uh, figure painting, showing how all these contrasts are, are brought about uh, using, you know, dark and light shades, which is quite advanced techniques, actually. Uh, but uh, you know, fundamental as well. The, these are, you know, very clearly laid out um, objectives. And they also will illustrate how to use the Ammo of MIG paint sets to achieve these, these uh, paint figure, figure results, yeah. Quite a lot on figure painting there, which is... Uh, which is quite good. And there's even some mention of oils as well used to create some highlights in that example and there's paint chipping and they're mentioning about chipping fluid and this is uh, quite unique 
uh, products from Ammo of MIG. It's a washable paint. I've never used that before, but I would be keen to experiment with that. So we, we might do that in the future. And it's explaining how you can use this washable paint. As far as I understand, uh, it's applied and then you can use a wet brush to create various streaking type effects. Oh, there you can see a very good example of a whitewashed vehicle with it sort of chipped off but without using chipping you're just using this washable paint to achieve that uh, metal paints which uh, i know ammo of mig do a acrylic range of metallic colors and showing you how to achieve metallic effects which is what we did with pencils and uh, you can use pigments etc Okay, they're just explaining various um, other techniques, uh, weathering techniques on aircraft. And this is, um, let's see what this is about. Clear, it says, transparent paints. Okay, I think they're talking about the actual uh, lacquers. Oh, they're talking about crystal glass. So there's various colored transparency colors that they do and how to apply them. And how to paint tracks. With an example and there's some of the artwork at the back and there's an advert for the acrylic water so okay that's a um, soft cover book 107 pages lots of different areas i would um, say quite a uh, recommended book for anybody who's interested in the ammo of mig products and also i think this will be pretty good for beginner intermediate uh, there's lots of different techniques especially for somebody who's Thinking of figure painting because there seems to be a lot in there about uniforms, camouflage and face painting. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Leave comments and I'll try and answer any questions if you have any. And see.